In this video, I'll show you how to make a really high quality uh, and detailed brick texture for your 3D models using Blender. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new project. And here we have three objects, the camera, the default cube, and a light. Go ahead and select the uh, camera and the light, right click, and then go to delete. Go ahead and click on the default cube and let's go ahead and go into edit mode. So go up to the top left, go to edit mode, and now right click and go to subdivide. Now before you click anything, go all the way down here and you'll see it has this uh, panel you could open up. Now let's set the number of cuts to 10 and press enter to confirm. So now you can see our object has been subdivided and number of cuts is 10. Okay, so now let's go back into object mode. So go up to the top left here, go to object mode, and now we're going to add a multi-resolution modifier. So go over here to the blue wrench. This is the modifier of properties. And then go to add modifier. Go all the way down here to multi-resolution. Okay, now go ahead and add five uh, subdivisions. And now our shape, uh, you can see it's smooth and it's been subdivided. Okay, so next what we have to do is add our brick texture. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the brick texture. This is the exact stencil I'm using right here, the brick underscore 01 underscore broken. Um, I'll have a link in the description and it's $5 for a standard use license. Or you can go ahead and find some free stencils online as well. Once you've gone ahead and downloaded your texture, head over to the texture properties. Go to new and then open up your texture. I'm adding the JRO underscore bricks 01 underscore broken dot JPEG. And here you can see it right here. Okay, so now we have everything set up and let's go ahead and sculpt this texture. And we're going to be using a stencil. So go up to where we switch between object mode and edit mode, but this time go to sculpt mode. Go to the active tool and workspace settings. And we're going to set the advanced texture and fall off settings. So let's start with advanced. We want to only uh, be sculpting the front face, so select uh, the checkbox for front faces only. And for the texture, go ahead and select right here, and we could select our texture that we've already added. And we're going to change the, the mapping from tiled down uh, to stencil. Okay, and the last thing we have to do is change the fall off. Instead of smooth, we're going to use constant. Okay, and now you can see when you have your mouse in the workspace here, you can see our texture. So let's go ahead and look at the front view by pressing the red X here on the top right. And let's go ahead and move our texture over to our object. And you can move it by holding, uh, clicking and holding the right mouse button. To scale the texture stencil, hold shift and drag and click the right mouse button. Go ahead and set the size so it's just the same size as our cube. So you can move it around with the, the right mouse button. You can scale it uh, holding shift and using the right mouse button. And you can even rotate it by holding control and using the right mouse button. I'm just going to reset the rotation manually like so. Okay, now go ahead and place the texture so that this brick here is on the top left corner. And we'll need to uh, scale up the size of our brush. To do that, you can either change the radius over here, or you can press the closed bracket button on your keyboard. And go ahead and scale it all the way up so it's bigger than the cube. Now all you have to do now is simply click to create the brick texture, and I'm going to click one more time to make it a little bit more pronounced. Go ahead and move the stencil over by holding the right mouse button, and then click on the front face, and once again I'll click twice to make it a little bit more pronounced. Now all we have to do is do this for every side. So once again, line up your stencil by clicking and holding the right, the, the right mouse button, clicking twice and moving the stencil. Click twice, now rotate to the other side, move the stencil, click twice, move the stencil over, click twice, and we'll do the last side Go ahead and move the stencil into its position. Press twice. Press the left mouse button twice again. And now, that's all we have to do to create a really nice 
high quality brick texture. And you can see there's a little bit of imperfections here, but you just have to be a little bit more careful of where you actually use the stencil. But overall, um, instead of having to manually uh, sculpt out the bricks by using a texture stencil like this, you can create some really nice looking bricks extremely quickly. If you're interested in learning more about how to sculpt using Blender and you want all the lessons all in one place as well as one-on-one uh, -on -one instructor help, go ahead and check out my uh, Blender Sculpting Masterclass. I'll have a link in the description below. Or you could browse all of my free tutorials on my 3D Printer Academy Tutorials YouTube channel.